If you need to know all about Roblox, you have come to the right place. In this video, we're gonna talk about what Roblox is, why kids love Roblox, what parents can do to help keep kids safe on Roblox, and what are some of the protections that Roblox has created to also help keep kids safe on the platform. So let's get right into it. So the first question is, what is Roblox? Roblox is not just one game, it's lots of games. Let me explain what that means. So Roblox is a platform, much like Netflix is a platform for videos, and then there's a ton of videos that you can watch within Netflix. So Roblox is a platform, and there's a lot of different games you can play inside the platform. Now, since it is a platform, it does have user generated content. So that means any person can create a game and upload that to Roblox for other people to play. This is user generated content. So I create a game, I put it on Roblox, and then everyone in the world can access that game and play that game. So now what that means is all the games on the platform might not be appropriate for your child. I could create a really violent game or a really inappropriate adult content type game. So you need to be careful about what games your children are playing on the platform. Now, when you do play a game on Roblox, you create an avatar-like character to enter these games with. So sometimes you can be looking at yourself like a third party as you walk around, or you can enter that first person mode, depending on the game that you are playing. So as I mentioned, the platform has thousands and thousands of games to choose from, and it can be anywhere from like a first person shooter or to more of a role playing game, like a really popular game called Adopt Me. Now, once kids are inside the game, there can be hundreds of other people playing that game at the same time. And there's a chat inside the game, so you can chat with other people that are currently playing that game. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the moderation tools that Roblox has in place, but just know the chat might not always be completely appropriate, so be aware of the chat within the games. And if you have a engineering type kid, they can create their own game to play on Roblox as well. So there's a creator studio that they can use to kind of help create games on the platform and they can let their creativity run wild and create their own games. So one of the things kids really love about Roblox is this wide variety of games. So no matter what my interests are, I can probably find a game that can align with those interests. And like I said, just like we used to play pretend on the playground, they play pretend on Roblox. They can pretend they're an office worker or an ice cream truck employee or an adoptive child. There's so many different games and scenarios that they can play. So that's what really makes it interesting for so many kids because it really covers a broad range of interests. So how much does Roblox cost? Roblox is what's called a freemium model. Most of the things are free to play, but if you want to play a special game that costs money to play, there's something called Robux that you can purchase or you can purchase a subscription that gives you a certain amount of Robux every month. So the subscription would give you access to premium levels or premium items. So you can dress yourself in different items or things like that, or boosters for different games. So that's going to be included in the subscription, but you can also buy those kind of things with just your Robux. Now, Roblox does have some parental controls in place. Unfortunately, you can't manage those parental controls remotely. It has to be within your child's account. So you have to log into your child's account and go to the parental control section. You can access this by going to the settings. It kind of looks like a sunburst or a cog and then tapping on parental controls. Once you're in the parental controls section, go ahead and toggle on the pin code and set a pin. Now, make sure this isn't a pin that your kids already know or something that they might be able to guess easily like their birthday or your birthday. Hopefully your kids know your birthday. I don't think mine do. Once the pin has been set, you'll notice a new lock icon, and now you can set the different parental controls. Now this allows you to set that they can't chat in the game or that they can't chat with anybody that they're not friends with. 
and you can set it so they can only access games that are approved by Roblox. So this is going to eliminate a lot of some of the most popular games, but allow them to play games that have been created specifically by Roblox or have been approved by Roblox. Again, it's going to vastly limit their selection, but it is going to make it a lot safer environment. Now, if you have set the correct birthday for your child, which I highly recommend in my Mistakes Parents Make video, check that out if you haven't seen that. But if they are under 13 and you have set their age correctly, you can also set monthly spending restrictions on their account and get email notifications of their spending activities. And again, enforce that access to only protected games. And again, the communication limits are just going to allow you to set who your child can chat with or interact with uh, in a private message. Now, so those are some of the parental controls that you can set yourself. However, like I said, Roblox has added some safety features that will help make the game a little bit safer for children. The first one is called their avatar clothing detection. So they can see if you've set clothing that looks flesh colored so that it looks like you are not wearing any clothes and eliminate the ability to do that. So this means you should not encounter any other avatars that appear to be not wearing any clothes. As always, there are ways people find to get around these restrictions so you can report anybody that is doing something like that. One of the most important safety features that Roblox has is the ability to set two-factor authentication. Now I will preach two-factor authentication from the rooftops. I know it makes it a little harder to log into your account, but so many kids get scammed on Roblox where they are handing over their username and password to a stranger and getting their account taken over and all of their hard-earned money or their Roblox or the things that they have purchased are gone in an instant and they're heartbroken. But if they enable two-factor authentication, then you'll get a notification that someone's trying to log into the account, they won't have that code, and so it will prevent any unauthorized access to their account. So Roblox also has instituted a chat filter. Now this is managed by humans and AI, so it can help really filter out a lot of the most egregious, inappropriate content that can be spoken of through the chat. Again, Predators are very smart on how they try and get around these things. So if you do encounter somebody who is saying inappropriate things or acting in an inappropriate way, there is a way to report these users to make sure that your child stays safe. You would want to teach your child how to report other users on the platform. So as you browse through the games on Roblox, there's a way to report the game itself. So there's a link under the description of the game and it says report abuse. And you can go ahead and report that game for abuse of Roblox terms and conditions. Now within the game, if somebody is being inappropriate, you can access a list of users that are currently playing the game and tap on that user and report abuse from that user as well. A screen will be displayed and you're going to be able to explain exactly what the behavior was or what the inappropriate content was that prompted you to report this user or this game. While Roblox itself is not necessarily bad for kids, there are definitely things they could access within Roblox that might be not appropriate for them. So a lot of oversight is very useful in Roblox and education for your kids. So making sure they understand not to take any chats offline. Offline meaning not within the game. So if they meet somebody in the game and they want to talk to you via direct message or on another platform like Snapchat or Instagram or Discord, then you wanna shut that down. So make sure your kids know no strangers direct messaging, no strangers offline, meaning in a different platform, and never share any personal identifiable information within the game or in a private message with somebody. So your name, your city, your school, your age, any of those personal identifiable information should never be shared in a public game. So make sure your kids understand that and check on them frequently while they're playing, see who they're playing with, what games they're playing, just to make sure they're being safe. 
So you could even hop on another computer and play Roblox with them. I do recommend playing games with your kids. It is a lot of fun. You can learn a lot about what the platform can do if you hop on and play it yourself. And you can learn what kind of people that your children will end up interacting with. So sometimes it might be fun to just hop on and play Roblox with your child. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm Family Tech on all platforms. Give this video a like if you like this kind of content and subscribe to my channel so that you can learn all about the different games and platforms that your kids are using these days and help keep them safe. Don't forget to check out my live interviews. I do those every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So thanks for doing that and we will see you next time.